Virtual environments are used to isolate the dependencies of a given project to the rest of the libraries installed on our operating system. That's awesome, right? However, as data scientists, most of our pre-analyses are performed using Jupyter Notebooks. So wouldn't it be nice if we can connect the virtual environments that we have originally created to the Jupyter Notebooks that we're working on? That's the whole point of this tutorial. I will explain how you can not only create your virtual environment in Jupyter Notebooks, but be able as well to interconnect them. The first thing is to install Python on your operating system, and this can be achieved by coming into python.org website, select the download tab, and choose the corresponding operating system, and Windows or Mac. Mine is Mac and select Mac. And right after that, you'll be provided with a lot of um, choices and you'll select the one that's better fit your need. After you have Python installed on your computer, the next step is to open the terminal. And this can be done by selecting the search bar and typing terminal app. This will open the terminal. To make sure that we have Python installed on the operating system, just type Python and this will show on the current prompts and also along with additional information here i can see that i'm using python 3.9 on version and let's type this command line python print hello hello and this will print hello and everything is set up now we're ready to install and move to the next step and to exit just type exits in opening and closing brackets this will quit um, the command line interface next step is to install the virtual environment library so type pip3 install virtual env what this is going to perform is to tell python to install a library called virtual env so virtual env is going to be used to create a virtual environment and enter now let's create a virtual environment called on um, project environment and before creating this virtual environment we have to type um, virtual env command and after virtual env command we type the name of the virtual environment that we want to create and let's call it project let's call it project project env project env meaning project environment and type enter creating virtual environment is not enough so what we need to do now is to activate the virtual environment the activation process of the virtual environment depends on your operating system and for mac the process will be source virtual environment name bin activate and what you need to do is just replace the virtual environment with the name of your virtual environment. And in our case, it's project env. Project env and type enter. And after typing enter, you notice uh, that we have um, the opening bracket, the name of the virtual environment and closing brackets. And if you are using Windows, the process will be um, different. And since we have the virtual environment already activated, um, let's say we are going to install pip install pandas. Then we install pandas. This is going to collect all the information related to pandas and install it in the virtual environment that we have created great we have installed the virtual environment activated and also uh, installed the pandas library um to be able to use this virtual environment into jupyter notebook this will require the installation of another um, library so to do that let's first deactivate this virtual environment oops deactivate the virtual environment and the new the library that we'll install is the ipy kernel the ipy kernel is used by python in order to manage all the virtual environments and packages that we have installed on the computer and let's run the installation of this library and as you can see again the requirements are already satisfied meaning 
already installed in my computer and you can use type clear in order to clear on the to have more space on your terminal to connect the virtual environment to jupyter notebook the next step is to run this on um, statement so what this command does is to tell ipkernel to install um, the environment called project environment that will be able to use um, globally especially from the jupyter notebook and type enter typing enter is like as you can see here installs on um, the project environment so now what you can do is to run the jupyter notebook and just type um, jupyter notebook this is going to open a new tab where you can use the jupyter notebook and here is the jupyter notebook that i have in my computer and you select new and from new you will use see here the project environment that we have created and select project environment this is going to create a brand new jupyter notebook and just type um import pandas as pd type we are able to use pandas here because we had previously installed on the uh, virtual environment that we have created so that's all if you like this video give it a thumbs up and leave in the comment section if there are new topics that you want me to cover on my future videos feel free to share subscribe and bye thank you for watching